All right, let's go on over here. I'm just gonna get into my next part of my Saw collection, which is just gonna be all my Saw 7 stuff and then all my like recent pickups. So I'll just grab and, oh, I'll just get into my um, recent pickups, which is all the Metropolitan Blu-rays. Really, really good covers, really love them. So Saw 1 standard director's cut. Nothing really super special, but the cases look really amazing. I love the um, anamorphic like color thing they have. You'll see in future ones, so that's Saw 1. Saw 2, really good cover, I love the artwork, as you can see up here, the little rainbow anamorphic thing down the top. And on the key there, looks very, very nice. Oh, there we go, try and get it again. Ah, there you go. Oh, it's a little bit hard to get to. Saw 2, director's cut, all of them are all director's cuts, so there's that. Disc is just red. In the style of the US Saw 4 discs, and then the best one here, Saw 3 Extreme Director's Cut. Probably one of the best, like, versions of the director's cut you can get standalone very very nice super rare actually like in australia and like you know other countries other than french uh france sorry and you see the anamorphic um rainbow colors on the chains it's very very nice love this one this is probably the top pick for me from the metropolitan editions saw four standard director's cut I also do have a um, Saw 1 to 8 Metropolitan box set, which I'll show on my next collection video. Saw 5, really do love this one. Love the artwork for this one. Very nice. The French do the best Blu-ray releases. Oh, I did not know I had that in there, but there you go. Saw 6, really, really nice cover. Love the um, anamorphic rainbow there on the um, reverse bear trap too. Director's cut, very, very nice. Artwork for these Metropolitan Edition releases are so, so good. We'll love them. And then Saw 3D Director's Cut, which is just the um, unrated version. But um, the um, dubbing on here actually has a theatrical dubbing over like the actual video. So it's a bit weird. Like it's theatrical soundtrack rip over the um, uncut slash unrated. Uh, unrated uh, feature of the film. Alright, so that's my Saw 1 to 7 Metropolitan, and then I got two steel books here. So I'll show you this DVD one here. It's a very nice glossy one. I thought this was going to be like a um, matte, like a scratched up matte one, because I got it for so cheap. But that's this. Very, very nice. It's actually very, it's actually a really nice DVD steel book. And you got chapters in the disc. The disc is green, or well, neon yellow, but. Yeah, I've never seen a neon yellow disc like this before in my entire life, so that's new to me. So that's that one. And then we got the um, Saw US Director's Cut Steelbook Collection. This is the exact same as the 10th anniversary Saw 1 Steelbook. Like, it is literally the exact same, like, DVD menu and everything. Oh, I got this little booklet here too. It's just advertisements, really. Nothing super special. But there's that, you get Billy in the background there. Very nice Blu-ray disc. Very minimal, I love these. They have um, the whole collection of like other movies like in this Steelbook collection. Very minimal. All right, and that's my recent pickups. So we're getting onto the um, Saw 7 slash Saw 3D movies now, same with the DVD. Basic Australian release. I believe this is the unrated version. Nothing really super special about it. Theatrical, this is the um, Canadian release, I believe. So actually got that really nice clear um, plastic thing there. There's a disc. I really do love these um, clear ones. I wish it was a slip cover known though, not the, not just the um, clear plastic. And we've got the um, Australian Blu-ray release, basic unrated, just Blu-ray. Nothing really super special about it. And we've got the UK one. I got this accidentally. I thought it would have had the um, Saw 3D like anamorphic slip cover, but it didn't. So yeah, a bit bummed out about that, but still very standard, unrated slash uncut. Saw 3D. I love the disc artwork on this one, probably the best. Alright, up next, Australian see-through. This is the Australian first release of Saw 3D. So you got Blu-ray 3D and 3D on the exact same disc, unrated obviously, as it says right there. Even though you know it's rated, you know, R here, but you know, we get it. Very nice, it's got that um clear um 
plastic cover, not a slip cover, just clear plastic. Very, very nice. And then we've got something very, very like super rare. I'm not sure many people have seen it. It's a Saw 3D metal pack. It's basically almost identical to a steelbook, but it's not. I'm just trying to focus here. Bring it, I'll just bring it down here. There we go. Very, very nice. Pretty rare, I haven't really seen one of these in a very long time. I had a friend named Lemon on Discord who actually sent me the link to this. I think he has one himself. I love the disc artwork on this too. But it's just standard um, unrated release. Oop, they're all falling over. Little piles falling over. All right, now we're getting up to um, a super rarity of mine, the Saw 3D Media Book. These go for about 100 bucks Australian. You can probably get them very cheap in Germany. Very, very nice, unrated. I think the DVD disc is theatrical though. Very, very nice. I really do like these media books. I just ordered a spiral media book, so I'll film the next collection video when I get that spiral media book in the mail. But yeah, the artwork is just, I love the artwork from the media books. They do amazing jobs on these. And they're pretty overpriced too, if I'm being honest. <laughs> so unrated, I believe this is the um, 2D slash 3D Blu-ray disc, yep. Got some nice page booklets here. Do love the artwork here with the billionth glass. Ah, oh, it says it's unrated. Interesting. I swear, oh, it has an unrated and a theatrical thing on the German dub. So, unrated playback, but if you select the German language, it plays the theatrical like soundtrack and the um, theatrical dub over the unrated video, which is super, super weird. I'm not sure why they did that. It's the same on the Blu-ray too, actually. But hey, free Saw 3D theatrical Blu-ray disc rip for the music. It's all about that. I do love this here, the cross. It's very, very nice. Talking about, you know, callbacks to traps and such. 52 ways to die. <laughs> some nice stills. I actually do love some of the stills in Saw 7. I really wish they color corrected the pink blood though. Very good steals here. And casting crew. And then there's your DVD. And that's the Saw 3D media book. Very, very good pickup. Can't wait to get myself that spiral one. Because all I need is that spiral one, the Saw 6 one. Plus the Saw 3 unrated and the Saw 4. I believe it's unrated with theatrical steel book. Anyway, getting onto box sets. We've got this. I'm pretty sure this is a bootleg. I got this in Malaysia, so. You know, that's a pretty big red flag, especially having the sale price on the side there. But this is, I believe it's like a Thailand release. It's got some really nice artwork though. That's the reason why I picked it up, plus I got it super, super cheap, so it's definitely a bootleg, so... Saw one. These are all um, unrated, by the way. Saw two. Gonna like fly through these. It's not really that important because they're bootleg. I'm pretty sure they're bootlegs. So, saw three. I do love the artwork though. It's very nice. Saw four. Oh, these cases suck. Saw 5, I do like this artwork, very nice and minimal. Totally not bootleg, hey? <laughs> Saw 6, I love how it's like the DVD disc in the background, like this just screamed bootleg. Because all these are un unrated, as I've said a few times. And then Saw 7, which has a very, very interesting artwork, I really do love this one. I think it was the Japanese artwork they used. Oh, it's just called Saw, it doesn't have the final chapter or 3D or anything, other than like the translation, Saw 7. Alright, that's a 99% sure bootleg box set. I'd say it's a, it looks very, very nice. Like, it, I'd say it's a really nice box set. But, you know, bootleg, not worth much. 
Now we got this one. I've actually have this one and then this one. This is the UK one. This is the better one, like the better looking one. But this is like a very interesting one because this has like Saw one and four theatrical. I believe Saw five theatrical as well. So we'll just get up on this. So here it is: front, spine, back. Stacked in the weirdest fashion because these are all the um, Dutch releases. So we've got Saw 1, Saw 2, and I hate the idea of stacking discs like this, Saw 3, Saw 4, this is Blu-ray theatrical, and 7.1 as well, I think it's like one of the only theatrical 7.1 rips I own, Saw 5, Saw 6, really nice artwork on this one, I love that blue spiral of the um, carousel, and then Saw 7. Same as the um, metal pack steelbook looking thing. And that's that. But yeah, this is actually a very rare steelbook. I haven't seen the steelbook like at all on eBay or online after I bought it because it's all Blu ray. But yeah, it's very, very special. I'm not sure why it says unrated when saw 1, 4, and 5 in this set of theatrical Blu rays, but yeah, apparently it's unrated. Totally. Alright, second last item. Probably one of the best steel. Um, box sets I own, it's the Saw Final Cut DVD collection from the UK, just like that Saw 1-6 to six one, this is the updated one when Saw 7 released, it's got that nice little anamorphic uh, Billy on there, and on the back it's got John, very very nice, all 7 films game over, undo this, because that's one slip, and you've got another slip here, all 7 films game over, blah blah blah, take off that slip too, and you've got the actual uh, book here. Well, I guess you got a book, but you know, a little collection here. And for each film, it has like a certain image and then a small description about it. So Saw 1, Saw, uncut version, Saw 2, very, very nice. Theatrical DVD, Saw 3 Extreme, which is unrated, very, very nice. Saw 4 Extreme, which is unrated. Very nice. I love this box set. Oh, this image here of Strahan is my favourite. Saw 5 Extreme, unrated. Saw 6 Extreme, unrated, slash director's cut. And then Saw 7, basic, unrated. Unrated. And that's a very good image too. And that's pretty much that one. Now just speed through that. It's, it's a very nice box set. I wish they had a Blu-ray release of it, like this exact same like copy, just all Blu-ray discs. That would have been like far superior, but still a very, very nice box set. And for our last one, the Saw Final Edition. They released this with the Final Trap Edition, where you can get the um, small reverse bear trap, but that costs like 800 bucks for me, so I just settled for this one. So I got Saw 1 and 2 Director's Cut, Saw 3 Director's Cut, and then Saw 4 straight through to 7, all regular unrated. I love that, it looks very, very nice. Final Edition, unrated. Very nice artwork. And all the discs. It's got two for Saw 7, one 2D, one 3D. And the 3D, like the non-3D like Saw 7, is just an uncut version. There's like barely any differences in it other than some colour correction, but that's pretty much it for this box set. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, the next part, which will include Jigsaw and Spiral, will arrive as soon as I get that Spiral Media book in my hands. Anyway, thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one.